How's it going? Corey here. Welcome to the latest Tackle Warehouse vlog. Uh, it's been a while since we've done a new product vlog. So today we're going to take a real quick look at some of the new products that's arrived uh, in the last couple weeks. And we're going to take a look at a few new accessories that we've just got in. The first item here is the boat buckle retractable transom mount. It's really cool. It replaces the standard tie downs that come in a lot of older boats. This is a very similar unit, if not the unit, that comes in most newer boats. All you have to do is simply mount this on with a bolt that comes with it to the tab that's already on the boat. Mount it on and then simply latch it onto your transom and use a ratcheting system to ratchet it down. It gets down nice and tight, ready to go, securing your boat. And then when you do want to go and take the boat off the trailer, simply press the release here, releases it, and retracts it down back into place. Very compact, handy, nice and neat, and it's right there ready to go whenever you need it. Don't have to take it off, throw it back in the pick, back of your pickup, and have to go find it when you're ready to put the boat back on the trailer. Up next are a couple of different tow straps. You've all been out there before, you break down, or your buddy goes and breaks down and he doesn't have a tow strap on his boat, probably has like a small rope and half the time you're out there and you go tow him in and the rope breaks halfway in. So we got these cool little tow straps that are made just for that. The first one we have here is a two inch, it's a two inch strap. It's 20 feet long and it has rated for up to 10,000 pounds of braking strength. And it has these two little handy clips on here. So you just clip it on to each, on, each end on either boat and you're ready to go and get towed back in. We also have a little heavy duty version if you want a little beefier version. This is a three inch model. It's rated for up to 15,000 pounds of braking strength and it's 25 feet long. This one doesn't come with the same clips, but it just has some standard loop ends on there to secure it to either boat. The only drawback to either of these products is the fact that when you do go storm, sometimes they tend to get a little tangled up and get in a mess and you do go to pull them out. They're kind of all over the place and hard to get to. Boat Buckle will solve that problem, make it real easy to get to this product. Come in this nice little handy carrying case. You can see when you open it up here, it has a, the two inch model, the 20, the 20 foot version, that's rated for 10,000 pounds. But this one doesn't come with the hooks, it just comes with the loop straps like the one we looked at before. One other cool thing is when you go pull this guy out, you simply pull it out, and it comes unwound. When you go to put it back on, you can see here there's a little piece there, you put the end of the loop on there, and then simply when you're done with it, you can just reel it back on, put it in the way nice and easy and ready to go for the next time you go to use it. And then just clamp it down, close it up. And it's nice and neat, organized, handy, ready to go for next time you need to use it. Up next, we have a couple different options for storing rods. The first one we have here is a bolt buckle rod strap down system. The first one here is the one that you see on a lot of the boats out there already, uh, kind of stock in some of the other boats. Real simple design. Simply you have to do is cut a hole in the back of the boat. The size of this here, they actually provide a diagram for you to easily cut out the exact size hole you need. Mount it to the side of the gun roll there, and then you use this other piece here, mount it to your carpet, however far out you need it to be and then simply slide it out, locks into place, ready to go there, holds the rods down nice and neat. When you're done, you just take it off, it tracks back in, and you're good to go. Now some guys really don't feel safe cutting that big of a hole in the deck of their boat, so what you can do is actually get this adapter piece here. You can see it's a nice small little adapter piece. All you have to do is cut a hole the size of this guy here, and they actually mount the previous model we just looked at to the back of the gunwale, and this mounts on the inside of the boat, or sorry, the outside of the boat, so all you have to do is have this nice clean looking little setup here enough to make a real big hole. It looks cleaner and you're cutting lots, like I said, a lot smaller hole in the side of the boat. Now some guys don't want to cut a hole in the boat at all. So what you can do is use this housing unit adapter here. All you have to do is simply just put this to the side of the boat, secure it into place, and then you, you get the retractable unit and it slides right into place here, secures in there really easy, really quick, and you don't have to worry about cutting a big hole in the side of your boat. We also have a rod carrying system for your vehicle. This is also from Butt Buckle. Really neat little setup here. Most guys use this inside their truck or SUV, and you can mount it across the roof of your SUV. It comes with some rings that you put into the roof of your SUV, put the clips on those rings, and run one across the front and run across, across the back. And it has these little loops here. They slide the rod into either end, one for the tip and the one for the butt end of the rod. And then it holds up to seven rod and reel combos, nice and secure on the top of your roof, out of the way so you're not getting hooks in your hands and people aren't sitting on your rods. You can also use this guy to store the rods in the back of the bed of your pickup. You use the same rings that come in the package and mount them to the underneath side of your pickup rails. And these guys clip right on the side here, put one in front for the tips, one in back for the butt end of the rods. And your rods stay nice and secure and suspended in the bed of the truck instead of laying there on the bottom where they're going to get scratched up as you move around and stuff. Up next, we also have a few different options for tying down your towing motors. The first one here is also from Boat Buckle. It's a Boat Buckle uh, uh, towing motor strap. This guy's really easy to set up. All you have to do is secure it to the side of your boat, wrap around the towing motor, 
And then when you lock the trolling motor in place, this Velcro it down, holds it nice and secure. That way when you're running across big waters, it's not bouncing around. Or even if you're driving down the road on a real bumpy road, your truck's not bouncing around and causing damage to that trolling motor. We also have a little beefier version for the same thing to secure your trolling motor. It's from RMC Boatworks. Really cool, really unique setup here. On the Minn Kota versions, all you have to do is secure it to the bottom of the mount of the trolling motor here with this bolt to drill a hole straight through, bolt it right on. And then if you do have a motor guide version, they have an adapter piece for this guy as well. But for either model, after you mount it to the trolling motor, they both have the same base foot here. You mount that to the deck of your boat and you can position or lengthen however long you need this to put it between the boat and the trolling motor. And when you go put the trolling motor in place, so it'll be sliding in place and it locks in there nice and secure. And it's not going to come loose when you run across those big waters. When you're ready to go and take the trolling motor off, all you have to do is use your foot, push this guy aside, slides out nice and easy, ready to go, and nice and secure. Up next, we have a couple of different replacement straps for your winch. The first one is your standard version here. It's a two inch strap, 20 feet long, has a 20, or 4,000 pound braking strength, comes a nice standard clip here to clip onto the boat. And actually in the package, it comes with a replacement bolt to put when you put it back on the winch itself. We also have a little beefier version here. The two inch version, rated right for up to 10,000 pounds. Much beefier, but this one unfortunately does not come with the replacement bolt. So you have to get a replacement bolt or use the existing bolt that's already on your winch strap. And they also have this really cool version here. This is the latch lock technology version. Same basic setup as far as the two inch, 4,000 pound capacity as the first model. But on the clip, instead of having a standard clip on there, it has this guy here. So simply push that button, slides right out. What's really cool is you're trying to fumble around, trying to hook the boat back up. All you have to do is slide this guy into place and locks right in there real easy and not to you know, like I said, mess around and trying to get the hook right where you need it to go. That's it for this week. Make sure to check back for next week for some more new product.